Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time out of your schedule to talk to us today. Certainly my pleasure. So it's a great conference, uh, bringing a lot of people together. What do you think are some of the main issues uh, uh, being talked about or facing at this conference? Well, certainly the whole idea of engineering education in the 21st century uh, is of paramount importance and the, the discipline is changing, right? So uh, what we saw as far away as the 20th century where engineers worked in a specialty, worked to requirements, produced their product is, is morphing into something where there's more collaboration going on. Uh, more demands for multi-disciplinary uh, interactions, uh, more collaboration geographically, culturally. So I see those as big changes. Really interesting points. I mean, uh, dumb question for you, but how quickly is that changing? How quickly are those changes coming about? Well, I can see a difference over, say, a period of 10, 15 years. Right? We're, while we're hiring now, we're looking for people who have had experiences in collaboration or if I go back 15, 20 years ago, we were more concentrating in specialties, you know. Are you a good double E? Are you a good uh, mechanical engineer, et cetera? Let's talk a little bit about that hiring. You're obviously a, a, a very important uh, a company. A lot of graduates here would like to know, what, what sort of things are you looking for when you start uh, hiring people? Well, Northrop Grumman is a, a large aerospace uh, company, so it has a, a, a lot of uh, broad interest, but certainly the classic disciplines Electrical engineering uh, in this day and age, software engineering is extremely important with cybersecurity, et cetera. Uh, mechanical engineering, uh, industrial engineering are still very important uh, disciplines. One of the other uh, topics we've been talking about all week this week is uh, getting young people uh, into uh, engineering. And I know you do a, a lot of work with STEM uh, education. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about those programs? Well, uh, we try to work with local uh, grade schools, high schools. Uh, we have a program called Worthy. And forgive me if I can't remember exactly what it stands for, but it, it is to go into high schools and junior high schools and encourage uh, young people to get interested in STEM, if you will. Uh, we encourage our employees to be volunteers at science fairs, uh, uh, et cetera, to be judges, to be mentors, participate in the robotics, uh, competitions uh, and, and the like. So we try to reach down as into, the, into the grade schools actually and, and try to generate that interest there because if you don't have the interest there it, it won't propagate up to the university level. It's great having you here to, to, to answer these questions because it gives me a chance to put to you a lot of the, the key issues that we've been looking at this week and one of the other ones is uh, diversity. How do you get uh, how do you get a diverse uh, engineering population, particularly with, uh, with with women? Do you think that's an important issue? Very important issue. So Northrop Grumman is dedicated to have a diverse population. You know, our goal is to have our workforce reflect the the complexion of the country. But to do that, and again, I think this gets back to your previous question. We have to reach down and generate the interest early, and I think we we really have to encourage, in particular, women, and even in some of the minority. Uh, population to uh, really promote the interest in that at a very early age if we're going to be successful in that. Well thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. We really appreciate that. My pleasure.